Hello people of YouTube, this is Tracks 606 and today I've got a box in front of me. I, um, the stuff inside this box is very expensive and I want to share it with you guys today. Okay, so what I have purchased is the new Spectrum DX18 transmitter. Well, it's not really new, but it's new to me. So, I got a brand new DX18 in this box. And I'm going to show you guys what it comes with and uh, get it out of the box. I did get a bonus pack. So, um, on your screen, screen right now, you'll be seeing um, the DX18, the transmitter, and it comes with a bonus um, Bind and Fly Park Zone F27Q Striker. So, that's also included in this box. So, I am going to go and share with you guys. So, let's open the box. Okay. So now it's open, I see a lot of stuff in this box here right now. I will get this box out of the way. You can see inside is very well packed. And there is quite a bit of stuff in it. And I see it playing right now. Alright, so it's paper out of the way. And uh, in this, this is an empty box. Okay, so um, I purchased this off of eBay, off a of seller called, uh, his, uh, his uh, store is Power Hobby. I bought my helicopter off him, um, and he is a great seller, um, getting positive feedback every time I buy something off him. Great seller, he ships great, uh, really well, so let's turn on these empty boxes. Um, I'll use these later, so. <laughs> I just chuck them all over So, you know, he just he packs them really good. He's, he's a great seller. He always gives you the best deal. When I bought my helicopter, it came not with just a helicopter, but a crash kit. So two extra batteries, extra set of rotors, and extra set of landing gears for the same price, including free shipping, than the other person would. And the shipping is two-day shipping. Uh, UPS, great seller. So if you ever, um, if you ever want to buy something uh, hobby-related, Power Hobby, I'm pretty sure he has a website. But eBay, if you want to look for him, uh, that'd be great. So okay, there is the DX18 transmitter, and the F27Q striker. All right, so I'm gonna start with the plane first. So I'm gonna get everything out. So here's the plane. I'm gonna get the plane out, I'm gonna get the heavy radio out, and I'm gonna get this box out of here. All right, so transmitter here, the plane here. Okay, so I'm not sure, I don't, really know, I don't really know a whole lot about this stuff because I'm still um, well, I'm still learning about uh, this transmitter, and I just it came with a plane. So okay, so this is a uh, park zone, my first park zone find and fly plane because I've always had E flight. So this is my first, um, same exact thing as the E flight plane. The same size motor comes with the E flight motor, E flight charger, but it's a park zone plane. So all right, let's take a look inside. It has a 180 brushless, uh, I think a 25. 100 kV uh, electric outrunner motor, very nice little motor, and uh, here's the plane inside. So here's the plane it's inside the box, and it's a lot smaller than I actually expected. But hey, it was free, so it was free with the deal. Uh, so there's tape in here, so I might get this tape off. The color of the plane looks awesome, looks amazing, and this thing is hard to stop, there we go. So, foam to protect the plane from any damage, any shaking. And here's the actual plane itself. So, it is very small, very, very small. Uh, it's a great little plane. It is a, um, indeed a, uh, you can see on the back here there's four servos, but it is a mixed servo plane. And this is the first mixed servo plane I have the one wing plane, so that makes it even cooler. And it even has a little tiny landing gear, little wheel right here. So, yes, this is a great little plane. I don't know much about this. I'm not sure how fast it goes. I'm pretty sure it goes faster than uh, most find the fly planes with the 180 motor. But, uh, so yeah, this is about it. Great little tiny plane. I can't wait to try it out. Um, can't wait to put my little camera on that, that's for sure. Oh, there's the hatch that came, just came off, and that's where the battery pack goes in. So, and all your, your, all your radio equipment's in here. So, cool. 
that's it. And there's a little, uh, little thing right here, a little uh, slit right here to cool out the motor. Um, okay, so this is the plane. Cool little plane, can't wait to fly it. And uh, of course, you got the charging here, so let's take the tape out of it. And just like on most planes like this, it comes with a little uh, charger like this. this is, uh, like a uh, two, two cell uh, battery charger. Comes with uh, alligator clips for hooking up the battery. The, char the wall adapter is sold separately. Um, had a bad experience with my first wall adapter. It actually caught on fire and it started to catch my house on fire. So I will get another one, but that was a bad experience with the first one. It must have been a faulty wiring or something because it went bad. And uh, so here's the little battery. This is actually different than. Um, uh, this is actually a lot different than my uh, S Block 342 uh, batteries. Uh, this looks a lot smaller, 200 milliamps. So yes, it is a lot smaller, skinnier. Uh, it seems like smaller. I'm not sure. I haven't been around my S Block in a while, so it just slides right into the plane. So I'll put this stuff back in here, and uh, I'll get onto the good stuff, the transmitter, the radio. Okay. And get on to this radio. It comes in the plastic bag. This is a professional transmitter here. So okay, so here is the box of the DX18 transmitter, high spectrum. And this radio is a very complex radio. This, of course, 18 channels turns into DX18. So there's an 18 channel radio which is incredible. There's a lot of channels, way more than I ever handled. So this is definitely going to be a challenge for me to learn every single channel. Well, not really, yeah. I still got to learn every single channel, even though my planes won't have 18 channels. I don't really need an 18 channel uh, radio. However, in the future, I might get an 18 channel plane. I don't know. But I got an 18 channel transmitter. The plane I'm going to use it with is probably going to take about maybe seven or eight of these channels. So, let's go see what's inside the box. I'm going to stand up here for a second because i got to slide it out. So, thank you, dude. Some way it does. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright. Slide this over here. Sit this down. Alright. So, right away it has uh, basically like your screen. Uh, basic picture of the screen and all that. I don't really know what those are for. I'll read that later. Alright, so let's get to the good stuff. Inside the box here. Alright, right away, get your manual and uh, some details on the back of it. This is very important. People who just breeze by these, please, when it comes to stuff like this, do not breeze by these instructions. These will, these are very important and it can save your plane or your life. If the plane is headed towards you. So. Alright, so I'm going to drop that. And inside, right there, boom, the DX18 transmitter. Alright, so don't know exactly what really comes with inside this box. I just know it comes with a lot of extra stuff. And um, looking like some different, which this is very cool. I'm guessing these pieces are extra plugs for different outlets or something to charge the app, to charge the. Uh, the radio, I'm guessing. What the heck is that? <laughs> I'm guessing so. It's looking like it. And here's the actual uh, charger. The charge to the radio. I'm guessing so. You push, twist, comes right off. Yep. And that is actually a neat little feature. I've never seen anything like that before. So that is pretty tight. Alright, so I'll put this to the side. So now we're going to step in with this here. This is, I think this holds the battery. If I can. There we go. Oh no, this holds the receiver and stuff. Alright. So right here is receiver. And uh, these extra clips, I forgot what they were really for. I think these are like um, extensions. I forgot what they're really for. Uh, sorry guys, I don't know. Uh, I did one time, I was told what they were, but I forgot now, but this is a receiver. Uh, this is a very expensive receiver, so, and it comes with it. 
All right. Comes with uh, a clip, and that hurt. Uh, comes with a little clip. You put it on top of the radio. You hook the radio, put it around your neck. Very helpful. Don't want to drop that radio out. And then some other parts. Not sure what that thing is. And some tools or something. And then, is that two? Huh. Two different kind of binding plugs. Bind, uh, binding fly plugs. These are the bind plugs. The hook up to the receiver. And you hook up to the radio. These do not need them because it has a built in, the, the receiver has a built in plug, I guess, but it hooks right up to it. So these you don't need. But like the helicopters, um, I'm not sure about the MCPX, but I do know for the 130, up 300, 450, 500, they all need these plugs. And I had an experience the first time with those plugs with my 450, I mean with my 300. It comes with a 256 megabyte chip that goes, I believe goes inside your radio um, for uh, recording data. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think that's what I read about and heard about. So that's what's in that box. And now let's go to the actual radio itself. Okay, so this is the Spectrum DX18. Uh, this is a great little radio, well not really little, but it's a great radio, so we get out of the plastic that it is covering to protect it from scratches and that. So and this is an amazing radio right here. This is the Spectrum DX18. This is incredible. I'm looking at this. I've never seen anything like it before. There is so many channels on this radio. And there's even side trims right here. There's side, side servos, side channels, which that is totally awesome. And I am blown away by this amazing radio. So let's see what kind of uh, batteries it takes so I can get this hatch open. Ah, oh, look at that. Comes with a battery pack already installed. So no more double A's, thank God, because I didn't feel comfortable flying with double A batteries. So this is a um, Spectrum battery. It is 7.4 volt transmitter battery pack, 2600 milliamp. This is a two cell, two, yeah, two cell lithium power, lithium power, oh crap, whatever, uh, battery. So that is pretty sweet foam comfort for protection of the battery. That is totally awesome there. Let's put this thing back. Nope, wire's in the way. Don't want to do that. Okay. Well, dang, I'm having a hard time putting this thing back in. I haven't, had this, I haven't had this radio open for a minute yet, and I'm already having trouble. What's going on with that? There we go. All right. I just got a smudge on the screen. Pretty big, pretty good size screen. It looks like a three-inch screen, kind of like an iPhone 4 screen, um, which is nothing like the iPhone 5 screen, which I have. It's just awesome. Okay, enough bragging. Okay, so yes, this is the screen. I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. Oh, what the heck? Ah, throttle warning. That's good. Uh, you always. That's, that's, that's really nice. Um, DX, the C, DXXI, which is my current radio, does not have that warning. It has the warnings for like for helicopters, the throttle a hold on the on the helicopters. That's a good warning. So here's the screen. Cool. That's basically it, guys. So that's what the screen is. I'm not going to show much more after that. This is a beautiful radio. Totally beautiful. This is well worth it. This cost me $800 for everything I just showed you guys with free shipping. And uh, so it'd be seven nine seventy nine seven hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. You get the Spectrum DX eighteen. You get the F the Park Zone F twenty seven Q Striker. You get you get um, the receiver. You get the receiver. You get you get all these extra parts, including the receiver. You get all the adapters, wall adapters. And so, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, pretty soon you'll be seeing me fly, uh, fly some planes with this radio. I'm going to try to program even all my little uh, park flyer uh, planes and helicopters. I will program it into this DX18 transmitter as well.